अब प्रियंश उभा एक राय जो सरकार जिला नक बंतापन फाइडे हलोक रेजर्वेशन पॉलिसी जोंक जिला उसालें संगमा उबरे चीफ व्हिप जोंक लियांग परशा उबडेरु एमएलए का कांग्रेस उलपन पाओ बट आई जिंग मुड बाकी तो कि लोंग येंग कि बला बेट ला ब्यांग लुपा कि ब डन्या का लाट कलंती ओम दे शो ब किंडंग यो जिंगमन टॉय नक रेजर्वेशन पॉलिसी हबे क्रन बट उसालें संगमा उलपन सगो बहाग जका जोंक पैनल क सरकार कला दे बन थुंग दक कमिशन नक बंतापन फाइडे हकबे दे बट क रेजर्वेशन बट बन राप रु ब कमिशन कंदे ब खमला बन डन के जे दे बट बरो कि बे डन बन तालंग कि बतिप रु मनो कि बे शिशा कि बन यो एक जिंगमन टॉय नक रेजर्वेशन पॉलिसी आई वांट टू थैंक बार देन सो रिगार्डिंग this particular entire scenario because without him people from the garo hills would not have been aware of what is going on inside that is first thing i want to thank him and the second thing is that even the government specially we are not uh, you know adhering to whatever uh, what do you call it whatever job whether it's uh, one two whatever delivery mechanism it was supposed to be delivered it was not doing so so everything is uh, enlining it seems like So we had a discussion yesterday, along with the, all the other, you know, political parties. Also, it was a good discussion, healthy discussion. And then uh, now government is doing a job also. Now they have appointed uh, chief secretary is one of the committee. I think they said that there will be a three members committee. But yesterday I was suggesting uh, commission would have been better, because uh, commission, uh, if we set up a commission, you know what, uh, they can reach to the unrich people. Uh, and then all those uh, unprivileged where they cannot speak out uh, they can go to that tap actually and understand their economic status because we are not only talking about one uh, community or two community when we are dealing we have to deal with all the other uh, uh, tribal who are staying within our state and the backward class within our state and the economic weaker section within our state so likewise they have to go to you know each and every community and then each and every individual who are unprivileged and who are unrich actually reservation is what reservation for the unprivileged and then weaker section of the society so can they can be lifted up so there was the whole point that's why uh, whatever the government is doing whatever the people are you know pointing out it's a good thing actually it's a good way actually at least it's a healthy to air the view of each and every one it's a good one that expert panel which we are talking about right now uh, uh, you know will confine to certain area but if they form a commission that would have been more uh, say that's why i was telling you that uh, at least this commission would have reached to the unrich people where they cannot speak out and they can understand uh, who are the like weaker section of the society economically and then like uh, how many of our people uh, you know from the garo from the khasi from the jaintia have got this particular privilege from the day one whether their family is still holding on to this you know uh, 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 privilege that is being given by the reservation policy because as a matter of fact the one who has got this particular privilege for example if i've got the engineer quota okay from the reservation policy if somebody has got the engineer quota or a doctor quota at least their particular family should not be counted under this reservation anymore because the whole objective is to uplift since that particular family has been uplifted you know that means at least they their family is been able to fight with the other uh, you know uh, sector of the you know community so that's the whole objective now we need more multinational companies with an estate private players who can come and then you know uh, do some business out here so that our people youth will be employed they will not go outside the state because any graduated or unemployed youths who are going outside the state they are working in the private companies so why don't we bring the private company to our state so that way we can at least absorb our youth to get employed otherwise look at the government job look at the you know the status of the mpac it's all negligible actually our youths getting job within our state is very negligible actually we're talking about the reservation every now and then but look at the job created by the government every year it's only like hardly 120 100 like that okay but thousands of our youths are being graduated every year where do they supposed to go hmm? they will become alien outside the state so we have to bring some companies where we can absorb our children and or create more entrepreneurship to our children